Here we have verse 6 of the 10th chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus, as we've said, is kind of giving a little lesson in the uh, science of being a shepherd with sheep. And, of course, the not-too-thinly-veiled comparison he has in mind is how there is a true shepherd and there are false shepherds. And he has uh, rather cuttingly noted that the false shepherds sneak in. They break in like thieves and robbers. And, of course, the point is, in connection with these religious leaders, with whom presumably he's still having a conversation, they are precisely those who are the illegitimate shepherds who are breaking in and uh, making havoc of the flock. Uh, but they didn't get it. That's what John wants to point out here as we see verse 6, Tautain. A demonstrative pronoun, it's the feminine accusative singular, tain. Idiomatically, the demonstrative pronoun will always use the uh, article, so this, the, literally. And then paroimion. This is a word that uh, can be translated a parable, and sometimes is, although it's not the normal New Testament word for parable, parable lane. Uh, but this is actually a rather different word, used much less frequently and somewhat broader in its sense. It could be a comparison, an analogy, something like that. Not, not strictly speaking, a parable necessarily. And uh, so that's really the word here. This, the analogy, or this, the comparison, is the sense of it. Apen, from Lego, I say, third person singular, aorist active indicative. So he said... This comparison, autois, dative plural masculine, uh, indirect object, so he said this parable to them, and then the subject of the verb here, ho Jesus. So Jesus said this parable to them, and then a kanoi, demonstrative pronoun, that is the meaning, here it's the uh, nominative plural. Uh, masculine. So those people, those men, uh, da, post positive, but those men, uk, the negation, egnosan. This is from Gnosko. Uh, it forms its aorist irregularly, as you can see here. So this is the third person plural, uh, aorist active indicative. They did not know, literally. So those men did not know. Sense of it is they did not understand. And then the uh, interrogative pronoun, this is the uh, uh, neuter, plural, nominative, uh, the things that. They did not understand what things uh, would be the sense of it. Ain, this is the uh, uh, third person singular, uh, imperfect active indicative of a me, so the things were, what things were. Ha, that's the uh, uh, relative pronoun in the uh, accusative now, accusative plural, what things, which would be the idea, alale, this is from laleo, I speak, this is the third person singular, uh, imperfect active indicative of that contract verb, so the things which he was speaking, autois, uh, again, uh, same as we had up here, it's the uh, dative plural uh, masculine, the things that he was saying to him. They didn't understand what things, things he was saying to them. Uh, he was speaking to them with an analogy. The meaning of the analogy was probably plain enough, but they were so blind to the illegitimacy of their own role as shepherds that they were not able to fathom that he was actually speaking of them, about them, describing them, and the entire discussion seems to have been lost on them, according to John.